are Harry and Meghan. We've seen them announce their engagement to the world, looking into each other's eyes, completing each other's sentences. Lillian Marshall from How I Met Your Mother, we know them for their synchronized gestures and for saying the same thing at the same time. Magazines tell us these are all signs of compatibility, of mind reading. But do you really have to be your love top in order to engage in these conversational synchronizations? Have you ever considered this could actually be the result of very careful attention and monitoring to each other's tone of voice, wording and even gesture? My research is all about human fusion. I study those moments in interaction in which two become one, in which people show to each other that they're part of the same team. And in order to study this, I have been very cheeky. I have interrupted people while they were having lunch, having meetings or sunbathing on campus, and I put cameras and mics on them. And I recorded 10 full hours of conversation between mothers and daughters, classmates, workmates, but no couples. And the type of detective work that I do includes transcribing every single aspect of what people say and how they say it, using specialized software to track changes in their tone of voice and volume, and also watching the videos on loop and in slow motion, trying to track changes in the trajectory of body posture, hand movement, and even eyebrow raising. And what I have found is that there's always one hint in the rhythm of our wording in our gaze direction and even in our moves that people pick up on and use so that they can come in at the right time and end up completing our sentence or synchronizing with our gestures or saying the same thing at the same time. Now, why is the study of something so ordinary important? Well, because my research will tell us so much about the way in which we use talk and coordinated action to show to each other that we agree, that we understand. My methodology and results will give us a lot of tools to continue understanding how it is that we build ties with each other when we uh, interact, for example, across cultures or even with people who live with autism. It will also, of course, help the work of psychologists and social workers who are always interacting with families and couples. And it should most certainly help actors and scriptwriters to bring to the screen dialogues that are truer to life. Now, my research has also found that people use these synchronizations for naughty purposes, to derail each other's line of argument, to tease each other, and also to hide information from a third party. So next time you see a synchronization, Sorry to break it to you, it's not so much about mind reading, it's more like I'm watching you.